Hi, so here is how to connect Slack to one of time in under five minutes. Um, I have this like dashboard with me. Uh, this is basically a one of time project. Please ignore like the active incidents, just the incidents of other like other projects I have. Um, so the first thing I would do is I would create a Slack app uh, by clicking on this create new app button. I've already done that here uh, and you know, it's like, you know, it's, it's basically this, like, you know, once I create an app, I can click inside of an app and create an incoming webhook. So I can basically go to this particular page, create a new webhook, attach it to a particular channel. And once I've done that, I should get this webhook URL, which I'll use later in my workflow. Once this is done, I can go back to my one of time dashboard, click on more, click on workflows, create a new workflow. Slack. Um, it's enabled. Click on create workflow. Once the workflow is created, I can click on view workflow. Click on builder to basically see this drag and drop builder. Uh, you can do a lot of things, honestly, here. Uh, like one of the most requested features we get from customers is whenever an incident is created, send a message to a Slack channel. So that's what it, like, you know, that's basically what I'll show you here. Uh, so I can click on this trigger and I can add a trigger when an incident is created. So I can say on create incident. So when an incident is created, I can send a message. I should send a message to Slack. So I can Slack. Uh, there's a component called send, send message to channel. I can click on this compo like a component, connect both of these together. Once I've done that, I will have to copy the webhook URL that I've gotten previously. So I'll copy this particular thing, click on this Slack component, paste in the webhook URL, and I can basically send a test message. So I can say test message. Uh, I'm not using incident data so far. Uh, I'll basically send a test message to see if everything works. And if everything works, like, you know, I, I, I should be able to like, you know, uh, send incident data. So let me actually click on incident. Uh, let me create a new incident, a random incident, honestly. Um, click decreate it. When an incident is created, I should get a message on Slack, which I did, did get a message on Slack. I can also check the workflow log. So I can click on workflows, uh, click on runs and logs and the Slack uh, workflow ran and if I see logs, uh, you would basically see the incident on create component, like, you know, did run, but it only returned me the incident ID. So by default, it only returns you an ID. It doesn't return you any data of the incident. Um, so we'll basically like, you know, fix this in a minute um, to return like incident title and an incident description and all of that stuff as well. Uh, so I click close, I go back to my workflows, click on view workflow, click on builder, click on this particular component called on create incident. And here it says select field. So there are many, many fields on the incident. You can basically check in the API reference. So I can basically go to API reference. I can say um, one up by one up by reference. And I can basically go into this incident incident table and I have these like a lot of fields. One of these is like this is title and description, which is basically your incident title and description. So I can basically like paste that thing up here. So I can say title true, select title, like you know, whenever you run this component. And you know, I so it will basically select like select title here. I need to pass the title to the Slack component. So I can say incident select pick value from other component, incident on create component, hit save. And it'll, this model is basically the whole incident object. So I don't need the whole incident object. I need the title in the incident object. So I can say title. And I can basically format it a bit. Ah. Let me actually format it a bit. There you go. Uh, 
So once I actually add this message, uh, you hit save and I create another incident and you know, it should basically send a message to this to, to my Slack with the with incident title. And you can select like many, many fields as well. You can select description, like you know, format messages and markdown and, and stuff. And I did receive a, a message on Slack. Uh, that's basically how you configure uh, workflows in one of time. If you have any questions, like you know, feel free to reach out to support or create GitHub issues. Uh, thank you so much for watching.